What is up, everybody? We are back again with a new character reveal. This time it's Reyna. Uh, well, last night I saw this, so I'm gonna skip the whole reaction portion uh, since, cause you know, I value you guys' time. So let's jump into the breakdown right now. From what I saw last night is uh, Reyna is carrying Heihachi's mantle in Tekken 8, but the gameplay is like a mix of Heihachi and Shinpachi moves with like sprinkles of Lydia and Bob here and there. Um, the main thing though is Reyna has an amazing personality. She's like arrogant as all hell. So Nemco did very, very good with that because she does not seem corny. Let's take a quick little moment and appreciate this new dojo stage and the song. It's just, this song is like a throwback to Kazuya's Tekken 2 stage and it's awesome. So right out the gate, Reyna is doing this eight way run type of deal. Um, then she does a cartwheel to regain some of the distance she lost. That low, cr uh, yeah, that low crushes, and then she does this string, which looks like a natural, natural combo on hit. That's also a high crush, so she has the tools to be extremely annoying right out the gate. And here is the first shade of Lydia that I saw. This looks like her up forward four four, but with her left leg, and she does a punch instead of the second kick. And then she goes into a new high crushing low stance that she does the legendary dick twist move. If you know what that is, well, you're a degenerate UFC person like I am. Um, and then she does a wheel kick that is similar to Lydia's wheel kick. Now in this sequence, she does a move that is similar to Asuka's full crouch down forward three. And then she does a trooper roll into a mid punch. So now she has two forward moving stances uh, that are, she can use to cover forward distance. Interesting. Now this looks like Bob's new hop kick, but he doesn't, no, she doesn't get a juggle out of it like he does. Now here she does another low crush kick that looks like a mid and this one though, it looks like she does get a follow up afterwards. So now this looks like that one Lydia punch, but Reyna does it with like a hand stab motion into a meaty roundhouse that is also that causes chip and is a heat engager into her left throw by the looks of it. See? So stab, kick, chipped, heat engager, and yeah, it's our left throw, which is a very cool throw on top of it. Yeah, and here Reyna continues her arrogance by essentially just mocking Jin about the fight. Here she does a left axe kick that's also a heat engager. Man, her animations are so cool. And then she does a kick that's like As that new Asuka kick that hits grounded. And then she does a two hit ground and pound. Man. Oh, that pose is so dope too. Like, look at the pose she does after she stomps and she's starting to get up. Okay, here she's in heat. Does another high crush string that stuns and wall breaks. And by the looks of it, she can stop on the second hit and probably do a normal combo to pick up after it. Um, but then this string, she goes into a stance that's similar to Heihachi's Heaven's Wrath reversal stance and then this is like a political storm that ends with like that one Jinpachi punch. Man, her animations are so dope. Yeah, there's that stance. All right, so that looks like her 13 frame punish that ends with Heihachi's headbutt. And then she does a single hell sweep into a mid. So it's like Heihachi's where it's just plus frames, right? Maybe on counter hit it launches, who knows? But she goes into the Heaven's Wrath stance. But when she's in heat, 
the Heaven's Wrath stance, the Heat Smash is a low. So watch, so Hell Sweep, Punch, Stance, Low, Heat Smash. Ooh, she has so many tools. And now that she's done playing with Jin, she decides to pick on Kaz. <laughs> now this was a pleasant surprise. She can totally do a crouch dash into an electric. Right into... Man, that is such a dopey engage, her heat smash. So it's like electric. Four, two, three, maybe? Heat burst. And then the heat smash. That initial hit looks like Keihachi's power crush. His um down forward one plus two. And then she still has time. Oh, like it wall breaks, right? Because she needed that. And then she does a demon's breath afterwards. That's just so sick. Yep. Keihachi down forward one plus two. And then I'm going to drag you on the floor. Dude, this is so anime. It's awesome. Wall break. Demon's breath. Like, they really went out of, out of the way to, like, just give her, like, little, little hints of, like, her heritage, right? That is so dope. So here she has Heihachi's Raijin stance, which is the punch parry stance. Where like Heihachi could do the follow up high punch and that would stun and then he gets his combo. But she does the Thunder Gothist that has a follow up afterwards. Like, I wonder if she she has a different follow-up afterwards instead of doing this horizontal kick. Maybe she has, like, an axe kick out of it that can, like, floor break, maybe? That'd be tight. Alright, so here she's in heat, doing that same string from before, from her combo filler. But she stops on the second hit, and she's able to enter the Heaven's Wrath stance. And then does Heihachi's reversal. So chances are, like, her gimmick in Heat could probably be, like, an empowered version of her Heaven's Wrath stance. And probably, you know, like, easy mode electrics, like Kaz and Jin can do. Wonder what else she has when she's empowered like this. This game's gonna have so many things we have, that everyone's gonna have to test. It's gonna be insane. And then the Rage Art, which in itself it looks fantastic and is like a nod to Heihachi and like a little Berserk reference there, right? Looks like it. Like that's totally Heihachi. <laughs> that is so tight. So yeah, so there we have it. The final character for the launch roster for Tekken 8. Overall. Reina is pretty damn sick. You know, um, she definitely oozes the arrogance uh, that Heihachi always has. Um, I'm definitely going to add her to my group of characters for Tekken 8 that I'm probably going to like break down heavily. Um, she looks super fun. The Tekken team said that they were um, going to be releasing the remaining character trailers leading up to the launch of the game. So we have, so we can expect a really good buildup of of hype uh, until the 26th in January. Um, I personally can't wait. I'm waiting every single day, every single minute of my life for the Yoshi trailer and then the Zafina trailer. Because by the looks of it, I'm going to be maining Yoshi, then subbing Safina, Reina, and Asusena probably. But yeah, uh, guys, um, like always, if you like the video, don't forget to click the thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, like always, I appreciate your time, guys. Be safe out there. Take care. Peace.